Today I thought by way of a change, rather than talking about music theory or guitar technique or how to use Fatfish, talk about equipment a little bit. And this is sort of inspired by I had a trip the other day to the Northeast Guitar Show and I was looking at all the things that was on sale there. And something that caught my eye was plectrums. I've already done a, a tutorial on here about the sort of te techniques you can use for holding a pick um, to get best use of it. But when I was looking around the guitar show, there was a uh, few stalls selling different types of picks. And I picked up one or two, just out of curiosity to see how they worked. Now normally I play with one of these. It's a pick type I've been using for the last Lord knows how many years. It's a Dunlop Delrin 500 series. It's 0.96mm. This just works really, really well for me. Delrin is a bit like tortoise, uh, Tortex, which is a simulated tortoise shell. Um, so good, it, I like the sound of it on the on the on the strings. Um, 0.96 millimeters, I find this the right sort of thickness for me. It's got a little bit of give, but not too much, so it, it complements my picker technique quite well. And the thing I like about the Delrin pick, these 500 Delrin 500s, is it's quite actually quite shiny. Um, it, it glides off the strings quite nicely, so I find it quite smooth to play with. Um, Grip-wise, not too bad. I do have a rather disgusting habit of when I'm not using a pick. I'll sometimes just pop it in my mouth out of the way. But the, the bit saliva, um, so this sounds horrible, but it does give a bit, bit of grip. When I take the pick out and start playing with it, I get a reasonable amount of grip, so I'm not too bothered about the shininess of the, of the surface of the pick. So as I say, I've been using these for longer than I can remember to be honest. But looking around the guitar show I picked up one of these which is made out of Purple Heart. It's an exotic hardwood and the, the guy selling these had a, a whole range, probably a couple of dozen or so, of different types of hardwood picks, um, different thicknesses and different acoustic properties. Um, so I picked this one up, it's, purpose, it's made out of Purple Heart, it's medium Bright was the way it was described. Um, I quite like the, the way it feels in my hand and it's normal you know, standard plectrum sized uh, size and shape which you know, kind of suits me because it's a bit like the, the picks I normally use. Um, felt quite comfortable so I thought I'll buy one of those as an experiment bring it back and see how it sounds. So what I thought I'd do um, to give you an idea is play a couple of bits now just with the normal pick that I use, the plastic pick, and then for contrast, uh, comparison, play something with the hardwood pick so you can see how the, the pick material affects the sound. Okay, so that's the the hardwood pick. So as I was saying, there's quite a few different types of wood in, in thicknesses and so on used to make the range of these. So if you see them at your local music store, you know have a have a look in in an experiment. This one I think was about two pound fifty, three pounds, I think I paid just for the one pick. For one pick that's quite expensive I think, but um it feels quite good. Um quite hard so I think it will last a long time. I suppose if it does get worn down just a bit of sandpaper or something you should be able to reprofile the edge no problem and just keep going with that. And thinking on the environmental side of it, you know we are using hardwood for this but I imagine you can make an awful lot of picks from just off cuts you know from like furniture or making or whatever you know off cuts and scraps of timber that might otherwise just go to waste so that's the hardwood pick. Now another pick um, that I've been talking about uh, on the on the Fatfish Facebook page recently was the shock fin pick. Now these have been around for quite a while. I, had, I played with one, experimented with one uh, quite a few years ago and I couldn't really get away with it. Um, but 
because I was talking about it recently on the, the Fatfish Facebook page and I saw one of the guys at the North East Guitar Show was selling, selling picks. So I thought just as a, a expert I'll get one of these. This is a shark fin. It's quite a thick one. Um, feels like a nylon sort of material I think. Um, and the unique thing about the shark fin pick is it's got that serrated edge. Um, it's still got a normal tip on it so you can use it for normal picking styles but if you want to get a really raspy sound to your player you can use the, the, the sawtooth edge. So they've got quite a unique sound feel really do feel different to a normal pick in the hand at least certainly they do for me um, but I, I thought I'd pick it up and, and have a have a good play around with it just you know, for old time's sake and uh, just to, to see how, how I get on with it again so what I'll do just for a bit of comparison this is what the shark fin pick sounds like I'm playing everything here with the, the serrated edge um, so you should be able to hear that So there you go, there's three different types of pick, just normal plastic pick, a uh, hardwood pick and a plastic shark fin pick with that serrated edge. Subtly different sounds between them, um, I think it's quite interesting to compare and contrast the three. Um, so you know, if you're in the music store and you see a, a different kind of pick on the counter, you know, have a look, maybe you know, get, a hook, get one, try it out, see how it affects your play, it might inspire you, um, take you on to do something new. Hopefully you found that interesting and uh, hope to catch up with you again on another video sometime soon. Bye for now.